let's move on to Far Cry 6. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, holy smoke. So we got a gameplay reveal for Far Cry 6 as well. A huge live stream uh, surrounding it, which to be honest, um, regardless of what anybody's opinions might be about the game, mm -hmm. this is kind of how I want game reveals and gameplay reveals or just live streams in general for games to be structured. Yeah. Give right. us the gameplay throw somebody on screen who's going to talk about the game, mm -hmm. but don't let me sit there and like look at them <laughs> talking for 10 minutes. Like, give me some more gameplay. Give me like the visuals of what he's trying to describe. Yeah. I love this. This uh, this trailer, like the gameplay, honestly really blew me away. I've never been a Far Cry fan, never played any of the other games. I know a lot of people love Far Cry 3. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what everyone's opinions are on Far Cry 4 and 5, but this looks super solid to me. I know that there still are some issues with graphics and it may not look fully next gen mm -hmm. but i don't know to me this might be one of those games where i'm just all in on the gameplay and i'm gonna have a blast with it and then you have a little bit of that reeling in on the story when it comes to to giancarlo esposito playing the villain yeah. um super cool open world super cool weapons like i'm looking at the b-roll that you're playing on screen right now so much customization that can be done there mm -hmm. a yeah. lot of creativity um but i think what we can all agree is the best part of the gameplay that we saw revealed for Far Cry 6 is the cute, the little, the oh, cute little dog, dog the little, with the, the, yeah. the chorizo is just the, you know, <laughs> the best boy. But, um, but yeah, I, I guess I'll throw it to you guys. What did you think about the, uh, the gameplay reveal? Steve, do you want to go first since you yeah, talked about the chorizo? I mean, like, so adorable. Yeah, <laughs> chorizo, best boy. We must, we must all protect him at all yeah. costs. I mean, come on. Um, no, I, I, I'm pretty hot on it. I mean, it's more Far Cry at the end of the day, which I mean isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, mm -hmm. It's kind of like comfort food, a, a, as far as I'm concerned. I always know what I'm mm -hmm. going into. Uh, one of the things that always stands out to me of, of the Far Cry series are the villains. I mean. You mentioned number three, and the reason why people hold uh, you know that game up so high is because of Michael Mando's Voss, yeah, one of the best bad, video game yeah. villains, like one of the best video game villains altogether. And then you look at four with Tory Baker and Pagan Min, and um, Greg Burke is the the father in in five and New Dawn. So and then the twins, I mean, yeah, yeah, and the twins. Uh, but I mean, Giancarlo Esposito, one of the best character actors for a villain we've seen, like in in you know, media right now, like between Breaking be Bad, the cast, but it works. Like it is so effective. Yeah. I don't even think it's a typecast. I think he just knows what he's doing. So like yeah. to a T between Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, uh, Mandalorian, and even to a lesser extent, the boys, like great, great ups for Ubisoft for getting him involved. I just hope that they use, utilize him properly Yeah, because that, that's a, that's a really big pull for me at least. Um, but yeah, the, the, the backdrop of the game having it be set in this uh, this fictional island called Yara. It's kind of like yeah. a mix between Far Cry 4 and 5 where you do have these like really dense forests and this um, like, you know, Just run down city life, run down uh, cities like yeah. you do have like these more populated sections, which is really cool. I don't think we've ever seen something like that in the franchise to this extent. Yeah. Um, I mean, at, yeah, at the end of the day, some of the, the graphics were a little off i even went back to watch like the the uncompressed version like when they when they actually uploaded the gameplay and everything and there are still some hiccups there which especially with the character models but i mean the environments look really pretty and varied so yeah. I, i'm actually excited to go in at, at least it's going to be a, a very fun playground to be in for yeah. a while i, I just yeah. I'm I all about the creativity like he, he got art artillery strikes on your backpack yeah, yeah. shooting shooting discs with uh with some of the guns using like car engines for gatling guns and stuff like that like that's so cool and creative that, that i mean was the kind of stuff that was yeah. like, really drawing me to the game yeah i mean ubisoft could have literally chosen any other song other than hey macarena but i, mean, <laughs> I digress yeah. like <laughs> i am but you see okay steve you you brought up that that point of comfort food and what drew what like really drew me into the far cry games is that it made me uncomfortable mm -hmm. one two and three were severely uncomfortable experiences mm -hmm. at times just because of like how far the villains push that you can tell that that direction is starting to fade away a little bit but i really hope that you know the villain aspect of far cry hits just as hard this 
trailer for me though and like watching the live stream it felt very just cause for it, it, like yeah. from top to bottom it felt almost exactly like just cause in the open world that they're trying to build kind of like the structure and the destruction and mayhem that they're trying to set up which, which is okay i think that far cry has become less of this story experiences that focuses on like these manifestations of evil uh within one person and and kind of the power and what they afflict onto the people around mm-hmm. and more so that fun sandbox of these bright open vibrant worlds it still has a compelling villain but more so makes you feel more powerful because right. in far cry 3 especially you were helpless you yeah. had nothing you had to figure it out on your own same thing with uh far cry 2 and far cry 1 and like mm-hmm. the whole malaria aspect of like there's only literally so much you can do in a day before you could possibly die like those mm-hmm. things i really liked about far cry but this fundamental shift in how ubisoft presents their games especially with how we saw Watch Dogs Legion, I think that that is going to be indicative of what we're going to see in the future, the kind of tone that they want to set with their titles. And I love it, though. I I love it because it, it just it looks like so much fun, you know? Well, and that's the thing. It looks like so much fun because it is that comfort food, right? Mm. It's something that you go back to. You know exactly what you're going to expect. Mm-hmm. But and you know, just for full disclosure, I am part of uh, Ubisoft Canada's ambassador program. So, but like obviously, they're they're not controlling. They're not you know holding a gun to my head, controlling what <laughs> I'm saying. Um, but you know, it, it does beg the question of how long can that structure really carry a franchise? Um, just because right. we're all talking about Far Cry three right yeah 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 um where there, there's been a lot of there's been two far cries in between they're actually three right new dawn as well right so um, primal oh yeah and primal the, I forgot about primal the dragon um, one yeah um, that was okay that was, that was wild so <laughs> that was so much fun because that was see that was a moment where so far the series had been so serious yeah. it had been like this tense experience and all of a sudden you're in a sci- like a like better cyberpunk game than yeah. cyberpunk 2077 <laughs> like it was great it was blood dragon was blood dragon, blood thank dragon. You. Yeah, yes yeah yeah, yeah that's the, what it the is music with it because oh. like the music from that why couldn't they do that in this like yeah. anything besides mockery <laughs> no but then also for the <laughs> gameplay they had the major laser song um, for sorry, the That's character reveal. Yeah. So, and I thought yeah. that was a really good choice. Like one thing Ubisoft, it, I feel, is really good at. They're good at putting like all these different elements to making a trailer really badass. Sure. Um, so when I was watching that, it was the character trailer that yep. got me super hyped, especially because you saw um, Esposito's like amazing acting as well. And I really mm, yeah. do hope in this game that they utilize him because Far Cry at the heart of it is really about its villains and how much those villains get under your skin, make mm-hmm. you like panic if you come across them, right? Um, so that's what I'm looking for for this one. Yeah, you know, like, do I go into a Far Cry game hoping that will be a, a, the most beautiful game out there? No right like the environments look really great um the lighting looks awesome the water i'm always huge on lighting water and hair yeah two of those look awesome you know character designs yeah they could be tweaked a little bit but i'm going in this for fun and i'm going in this to see how scary the villain is really now to be honest I, i think in general i've just come to a point in like playing games and enjoying games where like graphics are like Listen, we all want to see these games push like the envelope and we want to see character models and environments and particle effects. All that stuff is cool. No doubt about it. But I think Mm -hmm. as someone who's very humbled and grew up playing games like Borderlands, who that has like a very like subtle art style. Yeah. yeah, Something that's a little more like toned down. Well, not toned down, but essentially like not what everyone thinks games are, where it's got to be like 8K Ultra HD. Not as realistic. Yeah. Yeah, I've just come to a yeah. point where, like, for me, I want to have fun when I'm playing. I want to be invested in a story and have some characters that I could be drawn to. Yep. And Far Cry 6 looks to do that for me. Obviously, I would like for the game to look its absolute best. That would add to the experience. But I don't think it detracts from it, unless it would be, like, 
like really awful. Unless it would be like that Fast and the Furious game that was the the game awards. Yeah. You know? yeah. As long as we're not going back to like PS2 X original Xbox era, like I think I'm okay. Well, when you know? I look at this, right, it's... it gives me more GTA animation style, like yeah. Um, yeah. It vibes. Yeah. And that's kind of fitting for what Far Cry is, um, and that's why I'm okay with it. It still seems like it belongs as a 2021 game like it, it could mm-hmm. still stand mm-hmm. obviously like you know caboose was saying like if you're playing a game and you're like wait was did this come out on playstation 3 did this come out on the xbox yeah. 360 like those yeah. are questions you really gotta wonder why we're asking and maybe that's a problem if we're asking them right mm-hmm. um but for the for the most part like this game still holds up right now um mm-hmm. and it seems like it's a game that comes out oh that's one thing i just saw the b-roll I hope there's a domino mini game. That's all I want. Oh, you know? that'd be cool. It looks yeah, like I would love that. Yeah. This takes place yeah, in the I Caribbean. Be... Like, hello. Yeah. <laughs> you dominoes. You, have, you gotta you have, have to. a domino mini game. You gotta do it. Yeah. Um, no, Wait, no, going back to like the. Said... Sorry. Sorry. No, I was gonna, go ahead. Just, no, just really quick. Caboose said, like, turned down about Borderlands, and immediately the trailer starts playing in my head. That was like. <laughs> but I, I knew it, no. I knew what you I knew exactly what yeah. you meant. But the the Borderlands trailers every time are like the most in your face obnoxious. Yeah. Like, hey, what's up? We're gonna make some fart jokes and shoot some midgets. Like, <laughs> it's it's like they just go they just go wild with it, and I love it. But they have that stylization where they don't need to be 4K, mm-hmm. 60, 120 frames yeah. a second, like all that. Like, it's got its own charm, and I think that you know some games have that some games need to stop trying to have that and just yeah. focus on being a little bit more realistic yeah. sure. sorry steve go you were gonna go no i was just gonna say like on the con- and the conversation of uh games and like their graphics like there's a huge uh difference between like a last of us which is a more linear experience where the graphics can have that time to to look real and yeah. look and, and push the, and push the envelope where far cry is an open world game and studios still have to, you know, work under a budget. So having the assumption that you're going to get a open world game that, you know, looks on par with The Last of Us or even to a lesser extent Horizon yeah. probably is never going to happen um, because one's always going to trounce the other because they have the budget to do that. Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, we can still critique it and say, you know, some sure. of these models don't look as good as maybe they could, but I, I don't want to say like this game is like void of criticism and I don't want right. to say like even myself. I looked at it like, oh boy, like some of those character designs look a little unpolished. Yeah. Um, I guess I've just gotten to the point where those are things that don't necessarily like detract from me wanting to buy For a sure. game yeah. versus a game just being like unplayable yeah. or like not fun, you mm-hmm. know? Yeah. Um, one one other thing that I just wanted to bring up, and yeah. this is, this could just be like a personal pet peeve of mine or, or anything, but I really wish that Ubisoft would just commit to having a female protagonist instead of just mm. towing this line over and over again. Um, and I, I mean, I've seen some discourse of this like online after after this reveal, but like they put such an emphasis on this Danny character being basically like in all this footage being a female and everything but when they first introduced her it wasn't more than like a few seconds before they're like and don't worry you can play as a guy too and anyways yeah yeah. and they kind of just like reeled it back i was like okay like yeah it would have just been cool if you just gave us a female it's not a big deal you can do that a lot of other game studios do that and are very successful you look at assassin's creed the last two mainline assassin's creed games you look at uh, people and most likely they're they're canon player is a female yeah. the, the female ivor or cassandra a, yeah. yeah um and, and i i want to say though that assassin's... for um far cry when literally in new dawn the the villains were two female twins that were yeah. killing it so yeah. it's like you had this franchise where you already had you know the franchise is all about its villains and it had two strong female villains why not have a strong female protagonist? It just doesn't Why make not? sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know we have to move along, but yeah. the, the, 
Valhalla felt like a very weak example of me of what you can do with a, a male and a female because when you don't double down on one you're just kind of leaving it half baked on both exactly. sides yep. and it, it doesn't feel like a complete cohesive experience mm-hmm. um, and I think that they I think that they could do amazing if they just double down like you said Steve I think that's a really good point to bring up because I didn't I didn't even like realize it consciously like oh wait yeah they did kind of like backtrack and, and wish wash on it yeah, yeah. And it's so weird um, just because, again, Ubisoft has Jade um, in origin. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. It's so long ago. The His wife yeah, was such um, a strong character. I forgot her name. Um, Aya, maybe? I think it was Aya. I, I mean, think it's something like that. I'm looking it up right now. Yeah, but uh, she was such a strong female character, too. So it's not like we're, you know, this studio doesn't believe in that it's just like you have to do more of that because it does work um Mm -hmm. especially when you see like steve was mentioning the stats when you're seeing who people are picking when they're playing these games right it shows um that it works and that gamers like i feel like we're so so ahead of this conversation like why are we still having it just go all in yeah Yeah. Um, Uh, and you were right camille it was aya aya yeah okay (laughs) 